All right, welcome on in to this Link to the Past Challenge Cup uh, group stage matchup between Kinup and Desert Eagle 417. My name is Westside Vandal. I am here with Ricky of Kokiri. And, uh... Hello. Hey, Ricky. I'm doing well. Good to be here. All right. Nice face art on Kinup's uh, 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 file name there. Not bad. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is uh, game two of uh, the winner's round, winner's final uh, for this particular group. Uh, I'm missing my notes. I do not know which group this is. I uh, usually have hold on. Uh, e, it's group E. Thank you, Ricky. I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, we are just about ready to get underway, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be a fun little commentary here. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be able to live up to the one I did on ZSR last <laughs> night, where, oh my goodness, I still can't believe that. Five seconds. That's all I'm going to say. Five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it, it, yeah, it was, the, the, the Ganges Tower was insane. So it, it'll be if if the ending to this is half as awesome as that one was, it'll be great. Also, uh, this is a fast cannon seed, uh, from what I've been told. Uh, and this is game two, so that would be the only modifier. This is a seven-seven open fast cannon, uh, which means our runners will not have to go into Ganon's tower uh, to complete the seed. Right now. If the seed is particularly trolly, and we are off, if the seed is particularly trolly, then we might um, have to go in against how to like get a sword or something. But yeah, I saw I saw somebody did another race where they were mad about having to go into against how to get a master sword. All right, so both players starting off in sanctuary and getting a green rupee out of the sanctuary chest. Uh, ZSR indeed being Zelda speedruns pain killer. All right, it looks like fairly standard opening so far, uh, where we open the sink chest and then uh, use the sign to get the tier one tree pole, which is five rupees. Uh, I, which are nice. Yes. Uh, could have been slightly better though. Speaking of, could have been slightly better. <laughs> yes. Just magic from the bush crab. Uh, <sighs> I mean, cool and all, but. We prefer bombs. Uh, yep. <laughs> Ten arrows on uh, Agnim's, uh, the Lumberjack Ledge, so we won't need to do a bag of one for that reason, at least. Uh, Sire Lash, I do not believe that's a rule in the Challenge Cup. I believe it is uh, I, I believe it is only considered a tie if SRL considers it a tie, so it would be three seconds. All right. Now into the Lost Woods we go, and that's the glove on the mushroom spot. Ooh, very early. All right. And 10 bombs, the uncle pack on uh, the Thieves' side out. so interesting. Right. Desert Eagle having a little bit of trouble here. Uh, that crow was falling. out to get him. Yeah, <laughs> seems to be seems to be falling a little bit behind. Just now getting to his glove and ten bombs. At any rate. Ended up heading into uh, Thieves Hideout, or Blind's Hideout, Blind's Basement. There we go, words. All right. Ten arrows. Ten arrows. Blue mail. Nice. Titan. Oh, oh Hello. that's nice. Two and a half minutes and they have Titans met. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I, I don't think we're going to need Aggo 1. I, I just going to put that out there. That, that, that thought is now out into the world. I do not believe we're going to need Aghanim 1. Uh, 
of course, now that I say that, there is exactly one item that could be on the pyramid ledge that would force <laughs> Naga 1. <laughs> and that would be the most concentrated commentator's curse I think I've ever laid on somebody. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Meanwhile, in the waterfall cave, 100 rupees. The bottom of the well. The bottom of the well, sorry. Threw me off for a second. <laughs> yep. Moon girl, oh, never mind. All right. We have dark world access in three, three and minutes. a half minutes. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, just a life lesson from the bottle vendor. So yeah, this uh, this is shaping up to be a pretty darn fast seed uh, so far. Bugnet in uh, Grandma's house. Of course, there is always the potential for that most fun of seeds, the ice rod hunt. Uh, <clears throat> but we shall see. Back to the tavern has our first sword. sword. Nice. I didn't quite catch what, oh. uh, very fast map check there. Yes. Uh, Tracker seems to believe that it was Desert Palace and Tower of Hera as five and six crystals, and, uh, Eastern Palace as, uh, green, and that's ether on the, uh, ledge. Or on the library bookshelf, excuse me. And that's the book of some. Yeah, I would. I would think about grabbing. Yeah, yeah it. go get that. Yeah. Can't have thought about it. Because <laughs> that's guaranteed desert access, as opposed to I still need to find the flute and the mirror desert access. Right, right. That also, uh, you know, is needed for the tablets in case the seed really wants to get that trolley. Desert oh. Eagle, I believe, is going to just go directly yeah. to Dark World. Yep. Yeah, Dark World in five minutes. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? Blue Mail, so it isn't uh, quite as painful. All right. Yeah, and... Yeah, it's on Thieves Town and Meyer. Yep. Ew. So our tracker, very, very eagle-eyed there. So, yeah, uh, the Ice Rod Hunt Seed is officially in play, since we do need to defeat, defeat Trinex. And Pendant Thieves Town is one of the most trolly Pendant locations. At least in my opinion. Yep. You always don't feel right going in, and the, I, I, I don't, you know, you, you always kind of sit there and go, okay, do I want to proceed in? Uh, bombs and Shovel in the back half of Escape. Desert Eagle going to Pendant Thieves Town. See if it pays off. Yeah. A little piece of love, first off. Because, you know, you kind of feel like if, if you only get one item out of the front, you, you just kind of sit there and go, well, there's three items in the back. Do I go in? Right. You know, two items. So, oh, oh, dear. Oh, a hook shot. Oh, my. That's, uh, well. <sighs> <laughs> That uh, that paid off in a big hurry. Yes. I did not quite catch what was on Link's house for Kina. Uh, bombs in the front dam. Uh, Twenty rupees. Tracker pointing out. Thank you. Yes, she was Bane. It was me and it was me and Math on comms. There's the big key in Thieves Town. Of course, we kind of has to be in the first four because this is not a key sanity seed. Oh, takes a. I, I think that. I, I think he did it on purpose. Yeah. It looked like it was on purpose. Up, oh, deciding to bail out. So yeah, that would that would have been on purpose. But then again, when you when you get two items and one of them is hookshot in the front side of Pendant uh, Thieves Town uh, this early in the seed, I don't think you really need to. There's the, the bow, bow. In house. Oh my goodness! Kind of 
kind of checking mini Moldrome cave. Bow shaped house. <laughs> Valid point. Uh, mini Moldorm appears to just have a bunch of money and the shield. Yeah. And there's the there float floats. brewery. What is this seed? <laughs> It's almost like the RNG knew that I was going to be calming and need to be out of here by seven by seven <laughs> Eastern. What on earth? <laughs> Good gracious. Desert Eagle definitely making the right play, sticking around the Kakaruga Village Village of Outcasts area. <laughs> yeah. I mean, granted, uh, can't kind of. Er, I, I'm going to say that name about 15 different times, so I apologize. <laughs> 15 different ways. But uh, Tine Up is going to, uh, going to have to go there eventually. I yes. Mean, there's there's no way around it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, just three digs for 10 arrows from uh, the Dark World dig game. Yeah, I, I definitely would have done Kind Up's play, which is just do all the normal southern mm -hmm. checks and then go to Dark World. So. Yeah. Just a matter of order. Yeah. And uh, Desert now going to do Smith's Chain and also going to take Jeremiah with him to do... You know, this is actually interesting to me. I, I would probably have turned in Jeremiah and then taken the purple chest with me to do Stumpy and Hype Cave here. That's a master That's sword, a sword off of Stumpy. Good gracious. Because, I mean, you're already heading this direction anyway to turn in the purple chest. True. He doesn't have the mirror, though, so it would have been a saving quit, a saving quit for both the yeah. frog and the chest. Mm -hmm. Well, and also, we, we, he has to activate it first, but flute also cuts down the amount of time you have to walk with the purple oh, chest anyway. Oh, absolutely. So... I like it. so. Oh. Fat finger to button there, I do believe, uh, but opens up uh, the artist sometimes known as Hype Cave. <laughs> Red rupee. I mean, you gotta figure there's not gonna be too much note in here with how lo front loaded the seed has been. Uh, well, bottle. Seed um, kind of proves me wrong with a blue bottle, blue goo filled bottle. Kind of meanwhile has fake flippered. Uh, Nothing of note on Hobo. Fifty rupees and half magic on Waterfall Fairy. Nice. That helps a lot. Jeremiah getting the the, the extended <laughs> world tour here from Desert Eagle, by the way. Oop. Uh, oop, didn't quite catch what was on ledge there, but uh, doesn't really matter at this point because I don't believe we can do any uh, splash deletion weirdness with our current loadout. And kind of did not store a second water walk, so... That's the, the fire, fire rod. rod. Good grief. Uh, this seed is incredibly front-loaded. And the more items we find, the more I'm dreading the fact that, like I said, Ice Rod Hunt is indeed a factor. Yes. The longer we don't find the Ice Rod, the more likely it's going to be a wild goose chase. Yeah. Meanwhile, Desert Eagle having a slightly faster time of it in uh, Mini Moldorm simply by having the hook shot, which is one shot, one kill. And there is the save and quit. We're also going to get an uncle check, which I do not believe either runner has done yet. Just 20 rupees in uncle's wallet. poke a few the green guards a few times and get a heart container in the second chest there and now do we see do we see kind do front front of escape as well here looks like it because practically anything else I feel like would have been a saving quit 
There's an eagle um, treating us to some slow jams on the flute while he runs down to activate it. And at 13 minutes and 4 seconds, please rise for the Hyrulean National Anthem. And the goose is loose, the duck is a muck, and whatever other rhyming phrases you can think of. <laughs> There's some bombs there for tying up in uh, escape. I think Tine Up just really just wants to clear out Light World as much as possible before going to Dark World, which is an interesting play. Uh, just bombs from the uh, Dwarven Blacksmith today. And there's a piece of heart in that chest, and I do believe we have not seen the key yet. Uh, so it's going to be one item and the small key. Hopefully it's an item here, because having to go all the way to the Dark Cross chest... Well, well, no, we have Fire Rod now, so Dark Cro Cross is in logic, uh, thanks to the changes in V31. Um, setting up a Death Warp, maybe? Yep. And that's the single arrow. <laughs> Wow. That's that's a pretty rude spot for the single arrow. Um, <clears throat> All right, Desert Eagle now going to be grabbing his uh, book. Just going to be leaving the purple chest for now, I think? Either that or just doing this while he's here. Alright, we did find the shovel uh, on uh, kind of side, so uh, kind of going to be using that to find the blue meringue. And Desert Eagle doing Death Mountain now. Yep, and going to be picking up the old man in the dark. So whatever the old, old man has is technically still out of logic for both runners, because there are no... Well, are there torches in this room? I don't No, know. there aren't. So So this is uh whatever the old man gives us is technically out of logic for both runners still. But uh we'll see. Uh kind of I believe is going to do Agonaut into desert. Which with half magic and fire rod, why not? Crossing fingers, nothing's locked on the torch. True. Uh, just a heart container from the old man, and a piece of, and a little piece of love on the desert ledge. Uh, alright, and kind of gonna go into desert here. And, uh, hope, hope they aren't boots locked. Alright, what's on Spectacle Rock today? Piece of love, and... The lamp! The lamp! <laughs> <laughs> so, so, they're gonna go get that. Yep. Absolutely. And that puts, uh, that puts, uh, Eastern Palace in logic. Fully in logic. Yes. Not that that matters, because, it's, well, it might matter, because it's the green pendant, and we are boots locked. That is the big key on the Desert Torch. Ouch. All right, so Desert Eagle uh, going to go ahead and, uh, I would assume, go uh, over to the right side of Death Mountain here and grab the items from... Yes, it looks like that's what he's doing. Yep. I believe that was a map in the back of, a of uh, Desert there. So not a whole lot cooking for uh, kind of in Desert at, at present. 
tracker confirms that was indeed the map. Thank you. Today I learned that's an exit to desert. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> All right, and we're going to also see the Agonaut check here. Makes perfect sense, uh, because if you don't do it now, you're probably not doing it for a while. Meanwhile, Paradox Cave downstairs just has 70 rupees. Money. Those are the boots in Agonaut's cave. Well, right back to Desert Palace he goes then. Yep. <laughs> yep. Probably wishes he did that the other way around. Yeah. Alright, bombs. Ten arrows. Fire rod. Or fi fire shield, excuse me. A little piece of love and 50 rupees. So, just kind of quality of life in yeah. uh, Paradox. Not really anything too important. Bomb jump incoming. Nicely done. And floating island, just a little piece of love. And Desert Beagle checking Spiral Cave. Without the boots. Uh, at least he has hookshot, so it isn't quite yes. a sleeper. Yes. Uh, and the last time I skipped Spiral Cave without, because I didn't have the boots, it cost me dearly. <laughs> I Whoops. Know, I forgot to go grab the, the, the key off the torch. Whoopsies. <laughs> the entire reason you came back. Yep. Also, thanks to thanks to kind of uh, from 15 minutes in the past for doing that, distracting me. That's the cane of Samaria. I love how both of our runners have found major progression completely on opposite ends of the map from what? where the other runner is. Anyway, to complete the thought I was uh, trying to articulate before we saw uh, Kane of Samaria, uh, thank you to uh, 15 minutes ago, kind of, for uh, making that error to distract me, because I was seriously considering ripping off uh, Math Girl's gimmick and singing the Spiral Cave song. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> oh, missed the, oh, double that missed the hookshot glitch from Desert Eagle. Oops. That's... Uh, that never feels good. And true, both runners do get to feel slightly ahead for a while. I would say Desert Eagle has to feel more slightly ahead because he's got... He's got options. <laughs> yeah, I, f I feel Desert Eagle's pain right now on, on, that, on that specific room in... Uh, 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 heading up to Super Bunny because I could never get that second hookshot trick right. I get it once out of every seven tries. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, I usually just I, I'll like try it and that. But it, honestly, if I have the mirror by that point, I'll. Oh oh oh, oh oh oh! no no question. You just mirror through the whole thing. Yeah, you just mirror the the, the second one, uh, or at least that's what I do. All right, so Landmalist fight uh, coming up with half magic and fire rod. This shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yep. Already two and three down. So at 21 minutes, 55 seconds, we're about to see our first crystal going to kind up. And now we are uh, also seeing Hookshot Cave from Desert Eagle. Flippers! Flippers! So yeah, uh, this is this is really just kind of kind of depend on uh, how long it takes kind of to go to Dark World, which I believe they're yeah, I, I, right he's now. Gotta, really soon at the very least. I don't think they have anything left in Light World at this point. Eastern and uh, Saha's closet. Oh okay, yeah. Oh, they haven't gone that way yet. Okay. Yeah, neither Renner has gone that way yet. Honestly. Uh, all right, Desert gonna. Uh, I'm kind of surprised he didn't go to dark. Oh wait, he doesn't have a mirror. That's right. 
I was about to say, I, I would have checked my Irish head and get, gotten that information while I was there, but... Right. Then again, Meyer is a pendant regardless, so... Alright, so kind of about to receive the cornucopia of stuff in, uh... Oh wait, Village of Outcasts only has, uh... Well, only. Bow and, uh... The flute, I believe. The flute, yes. Which, which okay. they're about to get right now. Yeah. So, bow and flute from, uh, Village of Outcast. Now, here's the question, because it looks like Kine's gonna check, uh, all three before she, before they think about Thieves Town. You find flute and bow in Village of Outcast, and you've, you've got a fair amount of other stuff to check. Do you dip Thieves Town right now, if you're kind of? Yeah, that's the question. <laughs> Because they have the fire rod, they can go straight to Skull Woods. Yeah, they can check, uh, they can check Skull Woods, uh, they could maybe squeak out a win against Mothula right now. It would be, it would be close, but they could probably do it. And kind of doing neither of those things. <laughs> Gonna go do a uh, dig game here and, uh, probably make way over to Hype Cave. Or the artist not known as Hype Cave for this season. <laughs> Meanwhile, Des Vigo is about to receive their boots. And uh, more than likely go ahead and clear the desert while they're here. All right. Kind of going to take uh, Jeremiah on a little bit of a tour here as well. So while we are... Uh, kind of in a lull here, uh, as both runners do checks that we have already seen. Uh, as Lumaga did link in the chat, uh, we are currently being re doing this restream on the Go Mode Podcast Twitch channel, so check out the Go Mode Podcast at gomodepodcast.com and join that Discord server with that amazing link in the uh, chat. All right. Desert Eagle not forgetting to grab the <laughs> the big key off the torch. Missed the the sideways bond for a second though. There, so still not quite as much time lost as trying to go grab the big ch chest without the big key. Right. Is there a benefit to aiming for the wall rather than the torch with that punk? I am not entirely sure. To be honest with you, because I know a lot of races do it, and I'm not clear why. <laughs> yeah, I always personally go up and bonk from from the north because it puts you in perfect position to grab the item after you, uh, after your bonk ends. Right. King's tomb check. Ooh. Ten arrows. I would also note that uh, I don't believe either runner has uh, turned Sick Kid back in, uh, the bottle into Sick Kid yet, have they? I think Desert Eagle did, but it wasn't anything of value. I believe they, well, I saw, we saw them do the flute and mm -hmm. the blacksmith. That would have been the time to do Sick Kid, but I don't remember seeing yeah, I, it. I, I, I don't genu genuinely remember seeing it. Uh, Bonk Rocks from Kaina as well. Single, single rupee. Tracker doesn't remember it either, so it probably didn't happen. I would imagine Kaina uh, is going to do it because she's, uh, they are going to be in the area. Yep. Hey, I brought you a bottle of venison and this dwarf. <laughs> Just a little piece of love.
Ah, because Desert Eagle has not found half magic, he's uh, halfing, or the Fire Rod for that matter, because he has not done uh, uh, the fake Flipper. He's having to go after Lanwillis with the, uh, the Sword Swipes there. Granted, Master Swords, so it takes a little bit of the sting off. Kind of grabbing Ether. Smart move. Go ahead and grab it because, you know, there's a pretty good chance. There's a 33% chance we're going to need it. There's Eagle going to go ahead and uh, even up the crystal, uh, crystal count at one apiece. Not be surprised. Uh, Desert Eagle does have flippers, so he's yes. going to be uh, uh, doing those checks now and uh, getting his uh, derp. <laughs> Half, Half magic and fire rod from yep. Zora. Brain. Sorry, Brain dude. Is to supply the words for a second there. And uh, the goose is now looped for kind up. And kind of oh, is going to go oh, ahead. Doing and the Maya check. Do the Maya check, yeah. I believe that was Quake. I didn't quite catch it. Uh, our tracker seems to agree with you, though, so. And our tracker has been pretty eagle eyed so far. And there's the, the mirror. mirror. <laughs> so a couple of interesting situations developing now in the, in this, in that um, we're gonna need the mirror for we're, we need both the mirror and the hook shot for swamp, right? Right. So mirror is in Meyer shed, which Desert Eagle did not check. Mm-hmm. And hook shot is in thieves pendant thieves town. Which, Which kind of did skipped. not check. <laughs> so this seed might hinge on whoever decides to make that check first. I would bet Desert Eagle. Oh, he's about. They're about to do it right now. Okay then. Well. Because <laughs> yeah, given the choice, Meyer Shed is way more likely than a Pendant Thieves Town dip, in yep. my opinion. So oh, yeah. here we go. Yep. Yep. Kind of also doing the, uh, the... Oh, well. Oops! <laughs> blocks are being a bit of a trouble today. Yeah, Desert Eagle seems to be having some trouble with their, uh, their block pushing. Uh, kind of, uh, as I was about to say, uh, doing the incredibly unnecessary, <laughs> as, as we will quickly find out, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Dark Old Man Rescue. So yeah, uh, speaking of swamp, <laughs> uh, we still need hammer, so never mind. Uh, <laughs> oh, I always forget about that one room. <laughs> nice hook speed from kind of zooming up, zooming up Death Mountain. Desert Eagle thinking he wants 300 rupees and then changing his mind. I mean, yeah, he al he already has 737. Of, of course, Desert Eagle, I just realized... Desert he did Eagle do Poke. Yeah. He, he, he water walked to, do, to check the island and I think did Hobo, but then that was it. Yeah, Desert Eagle did not go up and do Zora's Domain, which means Desert Eagle is still missing his Fire Rod and his Half Magic. Nice hook speed from Desert Eagle as well. Uh, kind of attempting the bomb jump and gets Ooh. it nicely done. Oop, gonna tablet. Grab yeah. tablet. Yep. I mean, might as well. Master Sword and book, and you're in the area. 
little piece of love. <laughs> nice synchronized little piece of love grabbing there. <laughs> by um, and yep, we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see identical Tower of Hera plays here because both runners can full clear this rather easily. Desert Eagle with the hook shot po could possibly do the Hera pot clip. Yeah, he could, but uh, given the trouble he's had with positioning today, I don't think we're going to see it. Uh, and indeed we... And uh, we're not. Yeah. And he does, however, have Kane of Samaria, so he has got an easy time of setting up the, uh, the, uh, what I like to call the coffee break. And he does indeed get it. Meanwhile, Kynup going to go for the bomb strategy and get it as well. So both of our runners now just going to enjoy a, a second to sit back, relax, and, you know, stretch their fingers out, take a drink of a beverage. While the tracker does the same thing. Yep. And while one of the commentators does the same thing real quick, I will be right back. <laughs> Copy that. Desert Eagle getting his big key. And up the tower we go. Welcome back. We have lukewarm coffee. Oh well. It's better than cold coffee. <laughs> Hookshot and the uh, boots makes for an easy bonk back uh, to save some time on the uh, grabbing the big chest. Unfortunately, it's just uh, the compass, so. Kind of doing a bomb jump instead to save the same amount of time. Yep. But is it really saving time if the item is the compass? <laughs> Think, thinking emoji. Uh, <clears throat> oh, Moldorm. Takes a fall. Yeah, yep. Moldorm 1, runner 0 so far. For those of you keeping score at home. Moldorm is probably the boss that annoys me the most in this game. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten... Oh, there's a second fall. Oh, oh, oh! And nearly got tied <laughs> up, too. Moldorm showing no mercy today. Uh, tied up getting up for hand. Yep. Let's see if our runners can force a draw, for now, at least. So it is currently Moldorm 2, Runners 1. There, oh, there we, we go. go. Alright, we're all tied up. We'll see We'll see how this saga concludes once our runners reach Ganon's Tower. Oh wait, we won't because it's fast Ganon. Right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, in this particular seed, the fight between our runners and Moldorm ends in a draw. Pyramid Cave is now open. That's that's true. true. The two yeah. crystals. Yeah, we have the five and six bomb available to us, and still so many items left to find. We need a hammer. Uh, and actually, hold on a second. We need hammer, and we need ice rod, and we need whatever medallion Turtle Rock might need. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Tracker suggesting validation chest might be required. Oh Ooh. no. That's just rude. I mean, about the only. 
Well, mm, I don't think that's... Like, that would be funny, but I think in this particular seed, we... That can't happen. Because it's 7-7. Seven, seven. Right. So we need to clear all seven dungeons to be able to get in Gan's tower. And all we're le all we have left to find for go mode is stuff to finish those dungeons. And you know, the the, the only other things we could, I, I could think of would be luxury items, of which there are multiple copies still remaining in the world that I hope would be there would be a, a location easier than validation chest to get to. <laughs> then again, uh, not to go, not to keep pounding on that that seed from earlier, uh, from last night. But um, our runners went into that Gans Tower, Master Sword, so uh, mass with Master Sword. Tempered and Butter were right next to each other in the randomized room. Oh, wow. So that could possibly be a thing. If, if either of our runners is not comfortable with uh, Master Sword, that could, that could be a thing. But... Logically required for Silver Rose. Yeah, that's a good point. Silver Rose could be a thing. Uh, I just realized, kind of uh, making the Skull Woods play, I have I was not paying attention to see if any items resulted from Skull Woods, but uh, Mothula fight. Half magic. I, I don't believe he did the front part of Skull Woods. He just went straight to the back, I think. Interesting. Meanwhile, Master Sword, Fire Rod, Half Magic makes quick work of Mothula. Gets a compass and a crystal. Well, Desert Eagle kind of cleaning up some of the light world stuff uh, they left behind uh, to make the the incredibly early dip into Dark World. Which, man, the early part of this seed was stacked. Yeah, but the problem with an early stack seed, though, is you end up with this situation where now you're scrambling to find the last two items, yeah. and they could be almost anywhere. Yeah, the, like your entire map is green, and you're sitting there like, I just need three items. Yeah. Uh, despite being a crystal down, at this point, I gotta give the, the, the slight edge in, 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 in so far as, you know, race status to, to, to Desert Eagle. Because it is going to be a bit, I think, for kind of things to go independent thieves. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's basically what the race kind of hinges on at this point, other than the ice rod location. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, pedestal is deadestal, so it's just. Uh, well, I mean, it has it has life, so I mean, you know, it's not dead, dead. It's just you see dead. Wow, that. Uh, that, that made me feel better about going pedestal as pedestal. Thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> he's not dead. He's just resting. Uh, he's pining for the fjords. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, no. Moving ever so swiftly on. <laughs> Cutting up is doing the front of Skull Woods now. Yep. And there's, there's the ice rod. So, uh, okay, so now this really kind of hinges on kind of going to Thieves Town yeah. to get that hook shot. Yeah, kind of, kind of needs to go to Thieves Town as quickly as possible because there's there's very little to no chance that uh, there's the cape and nice. uh, as well pretty loaded uh, Skull Woods. So yeah, there 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 is little to no chance that Desert Eagle does not grab that ice rod uh, while in, while doing Skull Woods. So yeah. Kind of really needs to. And he's going the wrong way. Yeah. I mean, can you blame? Can you? No, blame absolutely, though? absolutely not. I probably would do. There's the exact... silver arrows on bumper cave, by the way. I, I, they just got the magic cave. They are going for that. Yep. Uh, cane of Samaria. Uh, spiral cave, I believe. Spiral cave, yes. 
that's another point. Kind of needs to do Spiral Cave still. It's kind of needs to do basically all of uh, Death Mountain still. Yeah, they didn't go to the east side, did they? No, they did not. They just went to Eastern and called it a day. Then again, they don't have Hammer or Hookshot, so they can't get to Eastern yet. Oh, of course, you're right. Yes, yes, yes. So, at present, we are, uh, I believe we're just, uh, I believe we're just Hammer and the knowledge of what medallion we need for, um, Total rock. rock away from no mode. And yeah, th this race is going to come down to how long it takes kind of to, to make the decision to go into uh, Pendant Thieves Town. <laughs> Does it ego deciding he's not going to get the silver arrows? He can't. He oh, he doesn't have, have the cape. Can. That's right, he skips skull words just now. He's yeah. doing overall checks first. Which, again, I can't really blame him for that in his current game state. He has, he has well, no, he has a blue, ma he has a blue bottle, so... Yeah, yeah but he doesn't have Firework, because he still hasn't gone to Zora yet. That's also a good point. He can't do Skullwoods <laughs> very well. <laughs> they're clear. I mean, he can go grab both of those items, because yes. they're both in the front of Skullwoods. But he can't get the crystal, so at this point, there's a bunch of other checks he could be doing. I think Kynup might be making the play. And indeed, they are. There we go. So this has now become a race. Tracker pointing out with with how uh, with how this seed has been, which has generally been a a, a pretty jet like seed. Uh, it's just going to be Ether for Turtle Rock, and there's not going to be very much of a mystery for that. Kind up gets the uh, the hook shot. And we'll see what he decides to do. Looks like he's continuing the play for now. A little bit, uh, heart container, uh, which we already knew about. And, uh, oh, catfish check from Desert Eagle. I would assume, yep. I and now coming out, and yeah, now we're gonna go. see Waterfall and Zora. So yeah, now we are just, I we are just waiting to see. Uh, oh wait, nope. Desert still has to uh, uh, go do Skull Woods. Yes. But, uh, it's, it's 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 gonna be a quite. I think this seed is gonna boil down to who finds the hammer first. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, I, that's the only item away. Yeah. I also, also, it might come down to who feels more confident in their master sword, Ganon, because yes, we do mm -hmm. have silvers. Uh, we do have silvers, but master but that's still, sword Ganon is still no joke. Yeah, that's still three phases to get through with spin attacks. And our runners at present only have blue mail, one shield, and one bottle. That <laughs> tracker rightfully pointing up kind of has silvers. Uh, although honestly, with uh, the cape being in Skull Woods, that's the powder on the ledge. By the way, I can't believe we missed that earlier. I don't think kind of bothered to get it. Uh, they couldn't because they fake flippered. Oh, that's right, they did. Which, wait, where were flippers at that... Oh, they were... Wait, where were the flippers? <laughs> were they... Because Desert Eagle got them really early. So they are, like, right after the Village of Outcast play. Don't think it was Hype Cave because I would I would have not you know. Well, yeah, no, no, Hype Cave. Hype Cave. Yeah, Hi Hype Cave wasn't flippers. Could they have been? I don't think they were in Thieves Town, were they? No, no, oh, it wasn't I Thieves Town. Paradox. 
No, because kind of just did it. Speaking okay. of, but, oh, uh, it could have been Super Bunny or Hookshot. Oh, it was Hookshot Cave. That's it. So, yep. Because that was a relatively early check for Desert Eagle, because Desert Eagle j jumped into Pendant Thieves early, so they, they had the ability to come do this. So... So we should yeah. be seeing kind of get the flippers right about in a few minutes. Yep. So yeah, we're very quickly going to reach item parity here. Uh, and it's just going to come down to who finds the hammer first. Desert uh, Eagle, that, Desert Desert Eagle, Eagle betting Eagle. on a French vanilla, maybe vanilla location. Yep. I say that, and then of course Desert Eagle immediately goes, You know what? I'm not going to do Skull Woods just yet. I'm going to discard. <laughs> <laughs> Our tracker did indeed call the fact that Turtle Rock needs ether, so we no longer need to find the medallion. So, this is indeed going to come down to who feels comfortable with their ma uh, Master Sword Ganon, uh, or if we find uh, there's the flippers in Hookshot, as we deduced. Um, <clears throat> this is going to come down to, okay, where's the hammer, and who feels comfortable with their Master Sword Ganon? Unless uh, a sword upgrade happens to be on the critical path. Or happens to be one of the checks they make while trying to find the hammer. Uh... Desert making all the checks uh, they can in Palace of Darkness before going over to the right side. Uh, because while, the, yes, technically that ends in a hammer lock, uh, there are two chests you can open before you see the hammer lock. So if the seed is feeling particularly evil, that hammer could technically be there. Uh, we're going to see the purple chest here from Kynup, which Desert Eagle uh, left behind earlier. Uh, so we'll see if that pans out. Desert Eagle doing the potion glitch instead of the bow which he has. Okay. I mean, I guess it technically could be faster? Question mark? <laughs> Swag uh, points? Yeah. <laughs> Cave 45 is the red meringue. Big key on the right side of Palace of Darkness. Desert fighting nothing but keys, it looks like. Well, which is typical for Palace yes. of Darkness uh, uh, in anything but key sanity. Uh, kind of? I think Kynup's going to try for a little-known glitch here. Uh, you can you can leave the chest behind in Dark World, and if you mirror and are in the range of, uh, of uh, Gary to turn in, the game just assumes you have the purple chest and lets you turn it in. Uh, nicely done, yes. Uh, unfortunately, oh, unfortunately got stuck in Gary. That's got to be awkward. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's an awkward conversation right there. Meanwhile, Quake in the big chest of Palace of Darkness. And the red male in Dark Maze. Bombus medallion, uh, Bombus tablet check from Kine Up. And just a little piece of love. Hammer could also technically be in the first couple of chests of. Uh, could even be as far as... Uh, oh wait, no, it can't quite be that far in, because I do believe you need the hammer to get over to the left side of Swamp. But it could technically right. be Hookless Swamp, which is what we're seeing kind of check right now. I, I think there's only one chest you could check before there's... you get hammer locked. Because the first chest has to be a key. 
right. then there's that one chest behind the bottom of the wall, the wall. and then you yep. get and then you're at the hammer switch. Yep. You're right. Desert going to Eastern Palace now. I just realized they found Quake and Pot, so that means Myers in play as a pendant dungeon that could possibly have a hammer. Correct. Little piece of love to open up uh, uh, Eastern Palace. I think kind of was on autopilot there and went to go grab the key and then realized, oh wait a second, I am I am missing required information here. Eh, 300 rupees in the first chest of uh, swamp, so that's not what we're looking for. So we've got Eastern, we've got uh, Sa. I don't believe either runner has technically checked Saha's closet yet, have they? I don't recall seeing it on either screen. We're also going to get a 5-6 uh, check from Kaina up there. Oh, there we go. Um, Kaina, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> oh, they're doing the duplicate trick because they don't have the hammer. Oh, right. And they haven't done Aga 1, so... And... Didn't pull it off. Rip that 100 rupees. Still just gonna kind of roll with it and check Pyramid Ledge, I know I'm assuming Catfish here. Which, by the way, did we get a Pyramid Ledge check from Desert Eagle? I do not believe we did. Yes, I saw the breading up there. I don't think it was worth anything. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> Nothing too exciting in Eastern. Ah, uh, never mind! There's the hammer! Wait. Uh, Desert, it's Green Pendant. You don't have to do this, buddy. You just found your goat. No, you didn't, because you haven't found Ice Rod yet. Never mind. Because you haven't done Skull Woods yet. <laughs> so we are in no mode, and now the question, the question now is, does kind of go do? <laughs> I love how the question has now shifted. The the question <laughs> has shifted to which which pendant dungeon uh, uh, kind of needs to go dip. Right. <laughs> yeah. I seem to have a knack for like for for that this tournament so far. By the way, I think that's about the fifth time I have gone to say something, and one of the runners has immediately dis uh, uh, disproved my statement. <laughs> like I remember, uh, uh, there was uh, Moon Pearl. I think was on a tablet somehow. No, that doesn't sound right. But like uh, runner, the runners found Moon Pearl right as I said the I the location moon pearl was probably wasn't going to have anything important um <laughs> it's the second time this race if you count hype cave but hype cave didn't have anything in it and i was saying hype cave wasn't going to have well bottle hmm. <laughs> Which, okay, yeah, at, at current loadout, yeah, that bottle is probably going to be important. Uh, <laughs> because Master Sword Ganon is indeed a thing. So yeah, Desert Eagle immediately going to press the advantage that Hammer gives, gives them and clear Palace of Darkness.
So yeah, this is this is very quickly going to. Uh, although I think Kynep is making their way down to Palace of Darkness now, and because they have the mirror, I wouldn't be surprised if they do the exact same thing Desert Eagle did. And yeah, see no, what's go. in Palace, and then go. Well, I'm here. Mirror check Eastern because we haven't done it yet. Or it's just as likely that kind of goes goes up to the door, goes, I'm going to check Eastern first, and mirrors after Kiki opens the door. Or or or, or, or they just you know do Saha's closet first. Yep. <laughs> Twenty rupees, fifty rupees, seventy, and ninety. Money, money took took all his life savings. I mean, that's that's what you get for hiding them behind a bombable wall, <laughs> or an easily crumbable wall because you yes. uh, could have just bonked into it. Speaking speaking of bonking things, uh, seventeen hits with a hammer will remove uh, uh, Helmus Arking's faceplate here, and then uh, I believe it's six arrows will do it. Or some Master Sword Slashes, that'll also, that'll also, uh, work. And down goes Helmstar King. Kind of now checking, uh, Palace of Darkness. Another blue goof-filled bottle for Desert Eagle off of, uh, Helmstar King, so... Nice. Desert gonna go ahead and get uh, his uh, money out of back of Zaha's closet. And his green pendant check-in. Yep. Oh, uh, that 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 happened on kind of side. Um. So, uh, oh, hey, Desert, I I mean, it's great he's doing crystals, but uh, Skull Woods, dude, you'd be double-boating Ice Palace right now if you did Skull Woods. Yeah. <laughs> so that might give Kine up a bit of an opportunity to catch up, because yeah. as soon as Kine up goes and gets their hammer out of Eastern, they are going to be in go mode, so they yeah. don't have to uh, do all of Ice. In ex extreme scenario, uh, if Desert doesn't, I, I, I don't see why Desert Eagle would even conceive of doing this. But Desert Eagle could technically get into uh, Turtle Rock right now. True, true. Desert Eagle could also but technically that, that... get into Meyer. Yes, but with Skullwood's open. I mean, that would be like a a, a galaxy brain attempt. <laughs> Yeah, that that would be that would be uh, galaxy brain to uh, uh, a very large degree. Um, so, uh, uh, who won game one of this series? Uh, uh, challenge. Based on the, based on the chat, I think Desert did. I think Kynep's the one who set the um, okay set the settings, but I, I'm not entirely positive. It's not on the challenge yet. Yeah, I, I noticed that too because I was going to DE won the first match by a minute. Thank you, chat. All right, so that sets up what I was wanting to say, which is uh, if Desert Eagle pulls out the win here, uh, he advances to the bracket stages of the tournament. Uh, uh, and kind of would then go to the tiebreaker uh, round where um, they would be awaiting the... Uh, the winner of the series between Gus and Cool Papa Bell. Uh, Gus currently leads that series 1-0. 
Uh, nice, nice palace bomb jump by the eagle there. So yeah, a win here for Desert Eagle means uh, he's uh, free and clear to the finals. Or to, not to the finals, excuse me, the bracket <laughs> stages. That would be one heck of a victory. Um, <laughs> and a kind of win puts him in game three. Yep. All right, so... All right, kind of going into Eastern Palace, yes. All right, All right. yep. So kind of very quickly about to be entering go mode here. So now the the onus of... <laughs> the pressure is going to shift back to Desert Eagle here because he is going to need to do Skull Woods eventually at some point. The question is, how much longer can he really... Stand Put it off. off? Because pretty much everything he have le has left is uh, just kind of progressively more and more galaxy brain. <laughs> well, I mean, he could go into Swamp Palace. He could folk clear it with the hammer. This is true. Which, if he does that, that's even more time loss. Because, yes. again, Kine Up is going to be able to go mode Ice, Swamp, and Turtle Rock. So, if Desert Eagle does not immediately go to Skull Woods after defeating Cold Stare here, um, he is in trouble. Yeah. Uh, he, honestly, even then, he might be in trouble. Because... <laughs> I mean, just the time yeah. he's spending in Ice Pass right now. Yeah. <clears throat> like, all this stuff, he would have been able to skip. Yep. And then the question also becomes, oh, there's the cane of Brian. Nice, nice pick, nice quality of life pick up there, but obviously not what Desert Eagle is looking for right now. Of course, on the other hand, we keep saying Goma, but that's assuming Master Sword Gan, Master Sword yeah. Ganon. Yeah. So now, it's a question of how comfortable Kaida is with that. Yeah. Now I will say, to at this point with Red Mail. Uh, fire shield and uh, what will be two bottles, because remember Helmsar King is holding on to a second bottle with yes. goo and silvers. I yeah, think, that, that, that's a... Yeah, at that point you kind of go, okay, let's go. You know, let, let's let let's give this a shot. Even even yeah. I'm sitting there and I, I hate Master Sword Ganon, oh. period. Oh, yeah, and yeah. I'm sitting there and going hopefully it's, you know, there's if if we find Bacon and or uh, I right. say and or even though it's progressive but oh, I... if we find Bacon or, or uh, Butter on our critical path, cool. If not, we're going to give this a shot. Yeah, and, and with the Magic Cape to boot, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I would definitely give that a shot. And it's just magic. Phases. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, meanwhile, with that hammer at one hour six minutes, and uh, we'll we'll call it just one hour six minutes even. Kind of is indeed in go mode, and away we go. It's gonna be yeah. It it might really be honestly be kind of straight to lose at this point because Desert Eagle just now getting to uh, Cold Stare. Actually, wait, hold on. Kind up is not in go mode. Kind up still has not done Spiral Cave. Kind up needs the cane of Samaria. Oh yes. Now, granted, it would be a galaxy brain play to not do a Spiral Cave. It's already kind of have to be on Death Mountain anyway. Yes, true, but they were already on Death Mountain when they did Hookshot Cave, so why didn't they do it then? <laughs> That's actually a valid point. I, 
I thought they had the Chaos Mario because they were doing Hookshot Cave. I kind of just assumed, wasn't yeah. paying attention, yeah, but no, they did Mario Cave at the same time. No, you, you, you did not miss that, uh, Ibot. We, we, we missed it <laughs> because we, we assumed, uh, and we all know what happens when you do that, uh, <laughs> that kind of would do all of Death Mountain while they had the ability to do it, and they clearly did not. So, uh, yeah, this... This might still be a race. Because Desert... Well, okay. Yeah, Desert <laughs> full-clear Swamp Palace. Yeah, Desert got a full-clear Swamp Palace. So, <laughs> the, the, the race now becomes... Does Desert get to Skull Woods before kind of goes, Hey, you know, Spiral Cave exists. Because uh... wait, kind of, didn't, kind of did Paradox too, didn't they? Now that I'm thinking about it, I can't recall seeing Paradox Cave. Definitely Hookshot Cave of the Flippers, but I don't recall Paradox. Interesting. At any rate, down goes uh, Helmetsar for kind of. Curious here and curious here, because our tracker is saying that kind of did indeed do Paradox. Not getting the names confused, they did it before Super Bunny. That would make sense. That would make sense, yeah. Oh, both runners are gonna full clear swamp. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh no. This is painful. <laughs> both runners are one item away from go mode. We where know where going, both of those okay. items are, and yet. Oh, I'm kind of trying the soup. Oh, kind of going to do pyramid cave this time with the hammer, so. Yeah. So, we know where both go mode items are, and they're in critical path locations or not very far off the critical critical path locations right but at this Both point it's runners. like if if kind of seems to have forgotten spiral cave once it I, I, it's nope, a question of how long it takes path? to remember it why did he why oh i didn't even know that was a trick i've never seen that version of the duplicator before well done. Regardless. Tempered! Oh, uh, there we go. So yeah, now we're going to see how long... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> how long you need to go Spiral Cave. <laughs> Don't do what I did that one time. <laughs> Desert thinking about left side and deciding nope. Nope, oh, now kind of's going to swamp, I think. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. <laughs> well, that puts them both on a more or less even pace in terms of folk clearing. Yeah. Dungeon still. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. It's a good thing the same person's restreaming my 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 race because I might be a little bit late at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Ice Rod uh, is in Skull Woods. Kana Samaria is in Spiral Cave. Yep. And so, uh, basically, Desert Eagle has no choice. They are going to get the Ice Rod when they go to Skull Woods. The question is, is kind of going to remember Spiral Cave? Yeah. And, yeah, it's it, it's been kind of an odd kind of, kind of series of... I, I'm trying to find the right word for it. Of, of odd skips? Like, are you... Well, not even odd skips, just in terms of, like... Skipping Pendant Hookshot in Thieves Town was not 
a yeah, strange a thing to do. Yeah. Like, but like we we, we yeah. It, it, it's 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 random getting rando to different degrees with the two runners. Yeah. <laughs> Trap. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh. I'm not gonna repeat that on air because that would probably <laughs> commentate your curse. But oh man, oh that's that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, uh, Desert Eagle deciding to do left side left of swamp. Left side of swamp. Uh, has Desert Eagle killed Argus yet? No, they went to the back. To, oh, oh, what happened was they went to the back, found the map and compass, and realized left side had two items. Oh, so okay. they doubled back. I kind of feel if you're that far back in in a in a, especially because it's crystal swamp and you're gonna you're gonna have to do it anyway. Just kill Argus and then go back in after you kill Argus. Yeah. Third bottle. So another thing I think is going to come might come into play here. Uh, Desert Eagle has not done 5-6 bomb yet. Do you think Desert Eagle makes that check? Oh, most likely. I, I bet they'll make the check right after they finish Swamp Palace. Yeah, so, it would because, of the because of the different order, though, Kynep will now have a much easier fight with Argus. This is at correct. least with the um, blobby things. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, kind of will be able to kill the uh, the puffballs with uh, one shot, or uh, one swing, as opposed to two swings or a spin. And Sirelash th says uh, they believe Desert Eagle will do so Skull Woods before five six, and that's that's kind of where my where I was thinking when I uh, uh, asked the question, because if Desert Eagle goes Skull Woods before five six, Desert Eagle will then receive. Uh, his ice rod and be in be technically in go mode even though Master Sword Silverless. Now, if Desert Eagle full clears Skull Woods and also gets his cape, he will be right there, right next to Silvers, which he has he knows. Silvers on Bumper Cave. So I think he at least gets the Silvers. But, with the Silvers oh. and being in a go mode, do you think he just goes, okay, I'm in go mode, hopefully I find a sword upgrade on the critical path? Because if there is, if we do not find that fourth sword, we're going to have kind up with Tempered and Desert Eagle in, uh, with Master. And that might end up have, uh, coming into play, because kind up won't have to do sword, uh, spins on Ganon. Firelash also pointing out Desert Eagle has no problems with Master Sword again. Alrighty. So a lot of interesting ways this seed can still develop. Uh, Tying up going back into d Swamp to do left side yeah, and Desert finishing items. this full clear. Yep. So both runners finishing a full clear of Swamp, but uh, in slightly different orders. And now we're just gonna have to wait and see which runner checks their uh, gets to their go mode item first. Uh, smart money would be on Desert Eagle, uh, unfortunately for fans of Kina, but uh, Desert's checking tablet first. Yeah, uh, anything can happen. Oro rightfully pointing out, it's not a difficulty question, it's a what's faster, going to Bumper Ledge from Skull Woods, or 24 Master Sword spins in Phase uh, phase 4. Woo! <laughs> which isn't, which isn't uh, counting the Master Sword spins you would have to, well, Master Sword spins would still be there in Phases 1 through 3 anyway. 
Come on, Desert Skull Woods. <laughs> They're not doing Pyramid Cave. That's... Yeah. Oh, you're doing K45. Can I make sure the next SR? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, gosh. All right. All righty. So this is going to be uh. Where just kind of go now? Come on, Spiral King. Oh nope, Ice Palace. Yeah. And so now he's gonna full clear Ice Palace, looking for Samaria. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, nice. Speed, desert eagle. Okay. Uh, desert eagle, I think, is cleaning up some of the stuff uh, they left yeah. here. Um, da, da, da. why did that not open? At least, at least we got to see the dashing peg cave. Oh, there it is. Okay. My computer decided to open three instances of the same program. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> So yeah, we're we're kind of just seeing duplicate checks here. So once again, this is a challenged cup group stages winner final winner's final match between Desert Eagle and Kine Up. Desert Eagle currently leads the series one to nothing. No, he did activate the flute. I think he was positioning his portal so that when he flutes back, he goes straight back to Dark World. Interesting play. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's effective. Uh All right, go Skull Woods. There you go. <laughs> yep. All right. <clears throat> oh boy. So yeah, that's gonna put uh, that's gonna give the lead back to Desert Eagle here because he is of course going to enter his go mode. While Kayap will still be searching for, for the, the King of Maria. Wrong cane. <laughs> That's gotta feel bad for kind up. You see, you see a cane, but it's the blue cane. Desert Eagle doing a pedestal check. Kind up search to. Uh, that's entirely possible and very unfortunate, Sire Lash. I would, I would say at this point, I would assume kind up goes Misery Meyer first because we've already checked the front half of Thieves, and I believe it had two items. Thieves Town had the hook shot, and I think it was a heart container in yeah. the front. So they, they're they're both equal. So actually, come to think of it, that's kind of a coin coin toss because it's about the, probably about the same amount of time to to check either of those locations for the same amount of items.
Um, oh, Desert Eagle just killing Moth first and then going back to check for the items. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's it, it, it's still highly unfortunate. But it is, a, but it is an interesting thought experiment. Uh, <clears throat> kind of? <laughs> Tracker still calling for killing Moth first and then going and doing Mire. That would be the galaxy brain of galaxy brain plays. Um, uh, down. Kind of, I believe, does only have Spiral Cave left to check on Death Mountain, yes. Because we did Hera, we did the Ether Tablet, we did Hookshot Cave. I, he, he also has spi uh, Spike Cave, too. Spike Cave, technically, yes. Uh, all right. So, yeah, this could get interesting. <laughs> uh, all right. Desert doing his full clear of, of Skull Woods, so we right. should be seeing the Ice Rod very soon. Yes. So, here, here's also an interesting question. Once Desert gets the Ice Rod, because the Ice Rod is going to come first... Or, right. Or at least it should come first. Does Desert just immediately check out, or does Desert continue to find the, the cape? I would expect him to check out, but we'll see. Because I also just realized that, because the cape, while a nice luxury item to have, is not technically required. No, it's not. And he does have Burner. So yeah. if, he need, if he wants protection, he has it. Yeah. And... Given knowledge from the chat, he's comfortable doing Master Sword Silverless, so he does not necessarily need to grab the cape to go grab those silvers. So yeah, we are going to see what happens here. Desert did the mirror and it took it to the wrong entrance. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, tempered sword and half magic making quick work of cold stare for kind up. Mirror shield, nice. I was wondering oh, what that was. Oh, Desert's doing the magic cape check first. Oh, well, interesting. Well. And boom, right. magic cape. He's going to do the full circle, get the ice rod, and then dip. Okay. All right. So Desert Eagle will actually be in go mode at uh, about 1 hour 26 minutes into the seed. And boom. There is the ice rod at 1 hour 25 minutes and 50 seconds. And immediate mirror and exit. Unfortunately for Kynup, Kynup is checkering Misery Mire. Oh no. So with every check Kynup does that is not Spiral Cave, Desert oh. Eagle is going to open up just that much more of a lead. And it looks like he's getting silvers. Yep. Which honestly, well, since he's getting silvers, that's going to mitigate things a bit. <laughs> so yeah. Pterodactyl will get off him. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. The the longer it takes kind up to realize they need to go do Spiral Cave, the more of a lead Desert Eagle is going to build. And honestly, it might become insurmountable pretty quickly uh, since Desert is going to go grab Silvers. If Desert had proceeded directly to go mode, uh, Turtle Rock and go into Gans Tower, then no Gans Tower. It's fast Ganon. God bless America. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, it, we're just Turtle Rock. Yeah, Turtle Rock and that's it. Yeah. So, yeah. Forget everything I was trying to say there. This, this, this is looking like Desert Eagle's race to lose. At this point. Because Kynup is fully committing to... Uh, the Meyer play here almost makes me wonder if maybe Kynup 
mismarked or forgot about uh um Spiral Cave. Spiral Cave. Yeah, it's possible. It's, it's also possible he they might be thinking that, you know, two of the pendant dungeons were had required items, maybe the third does too. It's just that kind of seed. I mean, it was a pretty, um, a pretty front-loaded seed. Bacon was in Pyramid Cave. Pyramid Fairy 5 6 bomb. Taking care of some technical things on my side here. Third bottle in the cutscene chest in Misery Mire. That's hmm. That's that you never want. Uh, yeah. Cutscene chest in Mire is painful when it's not something you directly need. Third commentator can't count to four confirmed. Rude. Rude. Also, insert Psycho Stick song about not being able to count to four here. Uh, chat and pointing out at least he can't get all the way to Vinny because he kind of needs the Canis Mario to do that. Yeah, DE Desert is in complete control of this race. Gonna need to uh, uh, j just needs to kill Trinex and proceed to Ganon because this is a fast Ganon seed. Hey, I finally remembered that. Good job, me. Alright. Alrighty. Yeah, and again, just the, the longer kind up goes without going to Spiral Cave, the more of a the more of a lead Desert has, and at this point with it being fast scanning, it might be inter insurmountable. Yeah. Kind of about to check match with bat, it looks like. Yep. Meanwhile, Desert Eagle continuing his way through Turtle Rock. All right. Yeah, Oro pointing out this would be difficult even if it was defeat Ganon. Uh, for fast Ganon, it's pretty much over, uh, which is unfortunate because uh, yeah, when it w especially when it, it it seems to be a case of kind of it's just literally forgotten that Spiral Cave exists. Oh oh uh, oh! Is this is this it? Is this it? 
Uh, the game one winner was Desert Eagle. So if this result it goes the way it looks like it's going to go, Desert Eagle is going to advance to group stage and uh, or bracket stage, excuse me. And kind of is going to have to uh, go into uh, the tiebreaker round versus uh, uh, the winner of Gus versus Cool Papa Bell. Gus currently leads that series one nothing. Oh, wait, kind of doing sp uh, Spike Cave first. Wrong SP Cave, kind of. <laughs> I bought, I'm getting sick of your sass. <laughs> <laughs> Bombos Medallion in Spike Cave. No, kind of, no! Oh, and the save and quit! Oh, God! No, he's, okay, no. he's... He's totally forgotten Spiral Cave, or he thinks he's done Spiral Cave. Oh. Oh, gosh. And now, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Desert Eagle about to go uh, face to face. Face to face, face, and face with Trinex. And, uh, oh, kind, kind of, kind of gonna kind do of. the green pendant strat, which yeah. is not. Oh, it's only gonna get him a little bit of love, which is not gonna be enough in this situation. Yeah. Oh no. Hammer strats on Trinex here for Desert Eagle. Understandable because he does not have tempered from the uh, five and six fairy. Or uh. Ow. So both fire and ice head down, and now it's just the main body, which is going to take some hammer shots here. Well done by Desert Eagle. And now it's just uh, heading to that pyramid and uh, taking on the big pig himself. Meanwhile, kind of, unfortunately, going to go kill Armos Knights and receive very, very little of value. Yeah, duh. I don't know why I keep forgetting that it's fast Ganon. Uh, it's like, <laughs> why is Desert Eagle mirroring? No, the more important question is, why did he buy a red potion instead of a blue? That's also a very good point. Uh, Ago was not required Link to the Past, Ken. In fact, we had Dark World access at about 3 minutes and 30 minutes, seconds into the seed. This seed was incredibly front-loaded. In fact... Honestly, this seed was uh, very, very, uh, very, very fast. It's just unfortunate that kind of forgot <laughs> forgot the existence of Spiral Cave. Unfortunately, is this uh, swamp portal faster to pyramid than the eastern portal? Uh, they're probably pretty close, actually. Uh, granted, with that menu, the, the, that uh, question might become a little bit uh, easier to answer, but... Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so Desert oh. Eagle... Oh, it's just a kind of sad thing, though. He, Desert had the perfect opportunity to do Super Bomb on his way up here to get that tempered, but... Yeah, but at this point... He, he doesn't need it. You also, again, with how how front loaded this seed was, you almost might feel behind at this point. True, very true. So, Master Sword first three uh, phases here. I believe it's twelve spins for phase one and phase two. Oh. <laughs> 
Uh, this would be a lot easier if he did have that tempered. And it's right downstairs. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna. That's gotta. That's probably gonna hurt <laughs> if he ever figures that out or finds that out. Uh, no problem so far. Gonna be using the hookshot strats to evade the the fire here. Uh, oop. Okay, he has a fairy. Kind of surprised he chose to use the red there as opposed to take letting the fairy take take it for him. Gets the the nice uh, RNG and can just kind of hang out here for a bit. Also, that is an, also a, an interesting point. Why did he try to hookshot when he had the cape? Yeah. Some interesting decisions in the last couple minutes from Desert Eagle. <laughs> uh, right, meanwhile, there we go. I just realized Kynup is cleaning up Tur uh, Thieves Town as well. Oh. Uh, no. at, 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 at this point, I believe it's just Kynup just straight up forgot Spiral Cave existed. Yeah. Or that they had not done Spiral Cave. Yeah, and, and that just, that cost him the race, because they, they were very neck and neck with the different checks for most of this thing. Oh no, Silver, my one true weakness. Desert Eagle now uh, has the Silvers, gets the Torch Glitch with half magic. This one's looking pretty darn over. Uh, there's one. Doubt he forgot it's just it's in Spiral Cave and I lost, or it's anywhere else in the world and I still have a chance and to win. There it is. Alright, the big pig is exploding. Desert Eagle needs to uh, cross the most dangerous one by three uh, bridge in all of Hyrule, but uh, I think we'll be able to navigate that one just fine. Get your GGs out in chat for Desert Eagle 417, who finishes in first place with an official SRL time of 1 hour 39 minutes and 44 seconds. Uh, meanwhile, Kynup is about to finish off blind. And get, uh, presumably nothing. Yeah, a compass. The compass. And a pendant. So that's gotta... That's gotta stick <laughs> in the craw a little bit. Uh, all right. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get Desert Eagle on in here for a chat. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see if this works. Yep, it does not. Well, uh, we would get Desert Eagle into the voice chat for uh, uh, a conversation, but I can't do it. <laughs> we need somebody with those permissions on the Go Mode uh, po uh, podcast Discord. Uh, if anybody can assist us with that, I can hear my voice. I would appreciate it. It's there we go. There we go. Thank you very much, Shora. Appreciate it. And welcome on in, Desert Eagle. Thank you. Congrats uh, on your win. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I... Skull Woods is always something that I feel like when I go in there, there's nothing there. And when I skip it, it has something I need. So when I saw the ice rod, I yeah. was pretty sure I lost. And I got lucky, kind of did a similar mistake, just in a yeah. more unfortunate location. Yeah, this, uh, um, I was going to bring it up, but then we just kind of ran out of time while you were doing Ganon. Um, <clears throat> uh, the last race I commented, commentated on had a very similar mistake to what I believe kind of did, as kind of is now doing Spiral Cave uh, on stream here. Um, I, I, I think it might have just been kind of an autopilot thing where muscle memory, they, they kind of assumed they had done it and mm -hmm. just left it. Uh, and this time it happened to burn kind of, but in the last race I commented it, commentated on, um, <laughs> the Rage Bombos. There's oh, a no. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> um... <clears throat> And oh, and the regular bomb too. <laughs> Just gotta oh, get no. it. Oh no, Superman! Superman! 
Oh no! All right, uh, and unfortunately, that is going to be a forfeit on Tynep's end. Um, Tynep uh, elected to join the speed gaming uh, uh, French restream uh, first. Um, don't know if they will be joining us or not after they are done. Um, All right, and the reset as well. <laughs> Get this speed off my screen. Off my uh, my screen. Oh no, Tynep just not not having any of the, that nonsense. Anyway, uh, to, to complete the thought, sorry, um, a runner uh, bombed the back of uh, Blind's basement open and did not check Blind's basement. Ooh. Yeah, that's... Luckily uh... for them, in that in that instance last night, it was just uh, either shovel or bottle and one led to the other. And uh, uh, the, the shovel had one rupee on it. So, luckily, it wasn't a problem last night, but here, massive problem, because it was indeed that, uh, uh, that, uh, Kane of Samaria. Um, so, really, uh, really, really early Dark World act see, uh, Desert Eagle. Um, yeah, that's the earliest I've had in a long time. So uh, that that was also kind of an uh, an early uh, an early tipping point in the race is you went immediately to Dark World, whereas kind of uh, did a, a lot of the Light World checks first before uh, uh, they went in. Um, were you feeling ahead because of how loaded Val uh, Village of Outcasts and uh, uh, Thieves Pendant Thieves having Hookshot in it? Ah. Uh... I don't know that I was feeling ahead. I was feeling, I guess, comfortable. Like I, like the last race, I thought my early game was just garbage routing. This one, I was getting a bunch of stuff, and then I felt okay, and then I felt like I just had a big stall in the middle. And that's when I started thinking, like maybe diving uh, Dark World that quickly was a mistake. But I don't know. Maybe it all. It all worked out in the end, but yeah, I don't know. Was did kind of maybe have a bit of an advantage early on there? Um, not necessarily. Um, it, it was it, honestly it was a fairly even back and forth race, simply because uh, uh, while you were finding all the stuff in Village of Outcast, kind of was finding things uh, elsewhere on the map. I can't remember uh, the exact advantage they had over they they. They they did a few checks uh, while you were doing Village of Outcasts that got them items earlier. Uh, so uh, yeah, the the path divergence was incredibly early, like five minutes into the seed early. <laughs> so yeah. for the longest time, it was really difficult to say who was ahead. And then the 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 real tipping point was the 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 uh, the who was going to find their go mode first because for about 10 15 minutes there it was okay we know that each of them needs one more item and we know where those items are but they happen to be in two different spots yeah <laughs> because you were looking for the ice rod that was in skull woods and kind of was looking for the the cane of samaria in uh spiral cave and yeah. you know normally i would have went to skull woods a lot sooner because it's quicker than mm -hmm. ice and swamp but right actually my thinking was because i saw the silvers up there i was like oh i'll just hit these dungeons in the south and just kind of make my way up uh -huh. and hope i find it along the way with the cape and of course where were both of those things yeah. <laughs> <Skull> <laughs> <Woods>. <laughs> yep so I found that kind of funny. When yeah. I opened those chests, I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, game. Yeah, I thought I'd had it when uh, I opened the that ice rod chest, though, because that's something that, you know, you would think to head up to Skull Woods when you get that access that early. But like I said, when I do it, it burns me. When I don't do it, it burns me. So there's no winning. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it, rando gonna rando, honestly. Uh, Pretty much. <laughs> it, it it definitely uh, definitely happens. Yeah. Um, all right, <clears throat> all right. So, um, let me check something real quick here. Uh, 
I'm going to check and see if Kynup wants to talk to us uh, after they're done with uh, Speed Gaming French. Um, and then we'll see what happens from there. Uh, one moment, please. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, Ricky, feel free to ask them while I'm doing this. Or if you have any other thoughts, Desert Eagle, feel free. Actually, do you know where uh, Kynup found another sword at? Pyramid uh, Cave. Yeah. Huh. You know, I was thinking to bring that bomb with me. It's kind of why I went that south route. I, I was I wondering why you went to that portal. <laughs> and then I just didn't. I don't know, I do that a lot. I plan out, like, I'm going to route this in and then this, and then I just do, like, half of it, and it's great. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... It's all good. I think at the end of the day, I was like, let's just get in there, because if I'm doing this Master Sword fight, you know, it's going to take a while, and I just got to assume kind of uh, has at least tempered. All right. Um, kind of is interviewing on the French restream, and uh, my race is supposed to be starting shortly. So, oh, good, uh, good idea to head over there. Good luck yeah. to you. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Kynup is officially saying they're going to skip the English interview. Uh, no worries, because I need to get to my race. Um, coming up next on the Go Mode podcast uh, restream, um, some dude named Westside Vandal is going to face <laughs> off against Dr. Fantastic. No, I've never heard, heard of him before. Yeah, weird. Me either. I've never heard of myself. So um, <laughs> that's going to be about uh, 15 to 20 minutes here because I have not even opened my OBS. <laughs> I'm too busy doing this. And I also didn't want my internet to freak out uh, uh, about everything going on. Uh, so yeah, stick around. Stay tuned for that. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Congratulations, Desert Eagle. Good game, kind of. Good luck. I can't say your name. Gus, kind of. Yes! Uh, <laughs> a challenging opponent, so. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you later.